Hey guys, I'm doing my vlog while we're driving. Um, I'm multitasking. I'm actually um, driving with no hands um, so I can vlog at the same time. That's what I do. Say. Anyway, it's almost 90 degrees here in Aurora Grande. Beautiful weather. Um, okay, a couple things. Glover. Unbelievable. Timing is so good. His power is so there. His strength, his conditioning is off the hook. Um, it, it'll be hard. He's a hard one to beat. I mean, it's like, how do you beat him? I mean, you can't really box him, even if you're a boxer. I mean, because he has that one punch knockout uh, power. Or just, and he has short, crisp. I mean, he could box if you want to. Um, and then he's got great takedowns, great takedown defense, and he's some kind of jujitsu champ on the ground. So, um, you know, he wins like grappling tournaments. So that's going to be a hard one. He's looking great. Luke's helping him out from uh, Pitt North. Uh, Turtles helping him a lot. And uh, Dan Kramer's here from American Top Team working with him. Um, Chuck is coming into town and working with him. And it's unbelievable. He's got, he's, it's like old school uh, Pitt back, you know, in full force. So he's looking unbelievable. Getting ready to go to Brazil um, Saturday. Everything's good with him. Um, I'm done with the whole bike thing. I'm kind of over it right now. But I'm just, I mean, every time I see a bike on the road, it's like bike versus car. You're stupid. I just think they're stupid. I mean, it, even runners on the road now, it's like all the guy has to do is sneeze and you're dead. I mean, it just, it doesn't seem to make sense to me. But I'm not, you know, I'm not going to judge. I've been meditating a lot lately, so I'm more at peace with everything. So, you know, one thing I'm going on is non-judgment. So I'm not judging. They're just, you know, stupid and go on the road and get hit by a car. And, you know, look what, look what happens lately. You see a couple weeks ago there was a bike rider that got hit by a car. He died. You know, not too long before that a bike rider got hit by a car. Guess what? The car guy doesn't get hurt. Just the bike rider. Uh, people get hit by cars all the time. Guess what? The car is fine. The people die. So, anyway, share the road. Maybe cars will start going on the sidewalk soon. So, we'll see how that works out. Um, the vegetarian thing, you know, you vegans, you know, kind of a weak excuse. But nobody knows if there's a nervous system. I mean, come on. We, didn't, we thought the earth was flat until not that long ago. I mean, for like... 99 and 9 tenths percent of human civilization, we thought the earth was flat, okay? So we don't know that much. I think plants and, and you know, plants and animals are living things and they have feelings. You guys don't, but then again, that's fine. So I'm over that too because I'm more at a peace, like yoga type stuff. I'm not yoga, but, you know, my meditation. And I'm over the whole political thing. Um... You know, economy is what it is. It's been going up and down, you know, since the beginning of time. Uh, I don't think it really has that much to do with who's president. Um, there's wars, you know, here and there. Uh, you know, I don't think it matters, that, you know, who's president. But if he, if he is president and he's doing what he's doing, just you got to realize, you know, he's a guy. He's a president. He's not a nice person. He's not a good person. Obviously, someone that, you know, sends innocent Americans to die in Afghanistan for no reason at all probably doesn't have much of a moral compass or a conscience if he can go to bed every night knowing that his people are dying in a foreign land so you know he's a flim flam man he's fooled a lot of really stupid people but that's fine I mean Bush was a moron too Bush was a murderer maybe Rodney would be we don't know but we do know for a fact that Obama is a murdering pathological sociopath and if you doubt that, you haven't had one of your kids go over there, obviously. But um, I wonder if he'd send his kids to Afghanistan. Maybe that would be like the good judge. If, if the president really thinks the war is that worth dying for, would he send his own? Maybe if his kids were over there, I bet he would stop the war really quick. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not, I'm so, right now I had a peace with myself. Nothing really bothers me, so... I'm just, I just pass along things, you know, from my inner karma. All right, I'll talk to you later.